This is Helen Schaefer, and I'm here for the Green Gold Challenge that my daughter, Dina Tollefson, arranged for everybody to do. And she got me involved in the Green Gold Challenge. So here I am, and I think I'll show you what I'm planning to um, submit. This is completely done in colored pencils. And um, the Blue Jay, it's not finished yet, and I hope to work a little bit on it. I'm What I'm going to do, first of all, I have to darken the legs. The legs are uh, very, very uh, light. And when I did this drawing, I used mostly the, Prima, uh, the Prisma colors. And what I did is I took out the colors that I thought would go with um, this painting. I think this is a, no, that's a dark green, but that's okay, that's good to add that out also. So we'll just put these over here in case we need them for the yellow gold. And I want a black. Maybe I have it out already. Yes, I do, there it is, the Prismacolor Black. So I'm going to put it in here. The leg of the um, Blue Jay is very dark and it kind of has little marks like this to indicate a little bit of light. And once you have the leg in, it's a lot better. Feel a lot better to have the leg in. And then he's got the really sharp claws. And Remember, this is a very large bird. Also, his beak probably needs to be made a little darker. All right, now what I plan to do <clears throat> is I have to, if you notice, this has not been completed here. I just kind of scribbled it in. And uh, so what I'm going to do is take some of my colors and I'm going to use the luminance, luminance uh, colored pencils for this. And so I'll just uh, draw, I'll just color in the, um, an oak leaf so that it looks like it's finished. You know, you don't want anything that isn't finished. All right, let's see what we have. Okay, that's, that's better than it was. And um, now what I want to do is, I haven't used these. These are the Karen Dash, the Super Color Soft. And these are a combination of, you can use them regularly, or you can use them as a um, watercolor. In other words, if I put this on, now just watch. I'm gonna put this on here, right here. And then I'm going to take some water and I'm going to use the pen that, where, this is the pen. This is the uh, brush. The American Painter number six. Dina got, has, uh, she said I should have these. And then look, it's like magic. And it will take out all of your little, your little bubble, your little, um, that the water, that the um, color pencil artist does not like. We don't like all those little bumpy things. So it takes them out. In fact, you can even go a little bit farther. Now, my personality, I just kind of go crazy. So I have to be careful that I don't overdo this. See what it does? It just uh, takes out all the little bumpies. So I'm gonna put some more down 
and then I'm gonna put some more water. So I'm putting a little bit of more of this down. The problem with that I have right now, I'm, I'm not working on watercolor paper. So I'm afraid that there, oh, okay, it'll work fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dab it a little bit. I'll just dab it with a paper towel. And now I'm looking at the paper towel and nothing is coming up. So, you know, if you if you don't have decent paper, then uh, uh, it'll wrinkle and bubble and all this stuff. Try to get some of the water up. But hey, that's really drying well. I'm just very impressed. Yeah. This is the, really the first time that I've used the um, Super Color from Karen Dosh. Haven't used them before because they just came. And like I said, these came from Dina's website. Uh, not website. Her store. Her store on Amazon. Okay, now I do want to put a little another color. Let's say that this leaf is a little bit brownie. I'm using the Karen, the Karen Dash um, olive brown. Just put this on and then uh, we'll activate it with water. I do, do need to put some twiggy things in. And these branches have to be made darker. There we go. And we have to have this come over here a little bit. Well, that looks a little better, whoops. But, you know, it seems to me like there must be enough pigment. There's so much pigment in here, pigment in here, that uh, it really doesn't buckle or anything. You know, I'm just so impressed. Now what I would like to do is, uh, first, you have to always look at something from a distance. And there are a couple... I'd like to put some yellow gold, uh, the um, green gold. I'd like to put this right here. So it really shows off. Okay, then I'm going to activate that. Being careful, I don't want to put too much water on. Oh yes, works, works. It works. I put some here. Okay, then I'm gonna dab it. Get the excess water up. And then on the top, let's see what that looks like now. 
Oh yeah, now that is starting to shape up a little bit. So I would like to put some on the Blue Jay because I do love how this looks. Although the Blue Jay has quite a bit of blue on it, but let's do it anyway, just to see how it works. I, I do like this. This is called Ultramarine Blue. And we're going to put that on right here. Now, I don't even know if I want to activate it. Wow, this is very nice. It covers all of this Prismacolor. I'm very impressed. Wonderful. I don't think I even have to activate it, do you? Yes, that's really good. Now that was the ultramarine blue. Let me put that over here. And maybe we'll just put a little bit of it over here. Yep, and then we'll just smooth it. Because the feathers on a blue jay and all birds are very, very smooth. So I'm going to activate that so that it stays the way it should. Oh yeah, nice, and that's pretty. And it looks like his little Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Hate to say it, but it is beautiful. I do like how that's turning out. That's pretty. Because the feathers are very, very smooth on a bird. And I do like this color, so let's just continue with it again. Oh, this is a blue. Well, all right. I've got the blue, so let's stay with the blue. I'm going to put it like this again. And then I'll activate it. Not too much water. I'm squeezing it out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that turned out very nicely. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like that. I would like to sign it. I thank you for watching, and I would like you to ring the bell and subscribe to my channel. This is Helen Schaefer. There we go. Well, like uh, Dina said in her last video, a painting is never done a drawing. This is a drawing. She said, this is not a painting, it's a drawing. But I did paint a little bit with the super color, so it's a paint drawing. Drawing paint, whatever. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Bye.